Swinging to the left. And I'm probably just going to lay it right inside that other thing. Take it off. So in our main job, we're just going out, like trying to find hazards to a navigation. Floating debris. Any piece of wood we take. Some days, some days hundreds. Some days hundreds, other days nothing. You never really know. The missions we do, I, it, it's various, various missions. I mean, like we could be out surveying the channel, doing pre-dredge work. Also the uh, derrick rig down in Great Ridge, the uh, Dismal Swamp Canal, tree removal, heavy lifting, dock improvement, and the soil water sampling. It's a wide variety of tasks that we do perform. Just in our our little niche here on the uh, debris, it's been around for so many years that like all the people on the water, you know, the uh, tugboat captains, uh, the harbor pilots, a lot of the uh, marina owners. I mean, like they know about our program, they help out, and they give us calls and stuff for you know like floating debris. So that one log on the back deck. We actually got that, that like we were driving back in yesterday from patrol and I, and a call came in on the duty phone and it was right over here at the marina. And the guy said that right over there and it was inside the marina. And that log's eight, 10 feet long. If that gets up against, you know, a, a smaller boat, like it could damage it. But like he called and said there was a log right in there and the guy, just happen to have our number from over the years, you know? So then we do get a lot of that help and support. We are out today doing just a maintenance run where we get underway and make sure that all the operating systems are operating as they should. Uh, we have the Coast Guard boat up here. Coast Guard Eye. So one of the things with multi-beam sonar as opposed to single beam sonar is single beam sonar in the past, you basically it shoots a beam straight down and then straight back up. With multi-beam sonar, you're shooting out multiple beams at the same time, so you're getting more of a 3D image of the bottom. Um, with this particular boat, uh, we average 120 degree beam width, so we're able to go to a survey site and basically from the sonar head out be able to shoot 120 degrees and get a swath width of up to 200 feet. So we're able to survey an area and basically 3D map the bottom um, much quicker than your standard uh, single beam sonars. There you go, yeah. And then you can do more than one function at a time. So, you know, like you could also boom up in turn perfect. Doing good, Scotty. Yeah, a lot of times too, like just from that angle with that pinch point, that like you can twist your claw. A lot of times with stuff, you don't know where it comes from, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, like you can see, like an old, like crusty piling or part of a dock that came off after a storm, uh, you know. But there's like large tires you get sometimes. Like, where? How does this get in? You know, floating porta potties. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Burned up jet skis. Uh, whales. The marine life. Sometimes we gotta help out with spawn. Um, those instead, so. <laughs> yeah, it's always something. Every day is different. <laughs> Every day is different. I remember one day. I remember one day. I think I told Scotty this other week. Sorry for the same story again, Scotty. But but then we left. It was me and the captain I worked under, uh, John and 
you know, like we got out of the way, you know, so we started work at 7, checked our emails, did our time, we were on the way by 7.15. It took us about, from 7.15, we stopped for lunch finally just at Waterside. We made it three miles, and I want to say we had 168 pieces of debris, and I was out of breath. Working so hard, getting stuff out of the I went on Wavy to see if like a trash truck drove off the Berkeley Bridge or something. There was so much stuff. I would say the core of what we do with the navigational waterways impacts everybody in this area. By keeping the navigational waterways open, by surveying after they dredge to make sure that the channels are big enough for the large ships to come in. Those ships are where everything that you yeah, buy in the stores come from. So everything you're getting in the grocery store is coming off of ships. So we impact everybody by doing our jobs. I actually really love working for the Army Corps of Engineers. We have several different jobs where each day is different. Happy on the buoy. So that we're always doing something different that keeps you keeps you engaged and keeps the job interesting. I've been with the government for about 15 years. I've been with the Corps for four. And I started as a deckhand, and then like since I was here, I've worked on my captain's license, like logging hours, because like nobody off the street, like you cannot go and just get a Coast Guard license. Like you gotta show your time on the water. So like Scotty can actually log all these days being on the water here. And then I got a cap by so you know the the uh, growth I've had and the knowledge of everything has been tremendous. And you're seeing a bunch of these guys in the division. There are many guys. They've been here 20, 30 years. I mean that just shows how great of a job that is. <laughs> you know that like these guys have been here for 20 or 30 years doing the same stuff and just the same the same love for being on the water and the pride in the work that they do like to keep the waterways open and everything. <laughs>